Dr. Rich Blana, host of the Conquering Your Stress podcast. In this, the 28th podcast in the series, I'll discuss the sixth and final core act therapeutic process called cognitive diffusion. And if you remember from previous podcasts, the ACT core therapeutic processes are techniques that I've adapted from ACT to help people just like you get unstuck and reach your values-based goals. Cognitive diffusion is the exact opposite of cognitive fusion. We've talked about that in the past, and cognitive fusion is your over-attachment to some aspect of your conceptualized self or your self-picture. When you over-attach to some aspect of your self-concept, it does a few things. Uh, it overwhelms your thinking, it makes you less psychologically flexible, and it makes it easier for you to get stuck on issues that other people can manage and move beyond. Cognitive diffusion is the process of separating yourself from the unhelpful thoughts, personal scripts, mental images, and emotions that create stress and keep you stuck. Cognitive diffusion helps you create distance between yourself and the unhelpful things that your mind is telling you. It's able to actually look at yourself and your mind almost as two different things. Creating distance allows you to literally step back and view your unhelpful thoughts, personal scripts, mental images, and emotions from a distance. And this is like stepping out of your own skin, really, and watching what your mind is doing as an outside observer. By stepping back and observing your unhelpful mental processes from a distance, you get an entirely different perspective on them. You're able to really observe what your mind is doing without judgment. And specific language is important. When you say to yourself things like, my mind is telling me, or my mind is having the thought that, uh, this allows you to really separate yourself from the unhelpful, painful things that your mind is telling you because literally now uh, these things cease to be you and they now become activities that your mind is creating. And then you can actually be able to observe them uh, as just another unhelpful uh, part of your mind's activities. They're merely among the various programs that your mind is able to crank out nonstop all day long. And we've talked about that, how your mind is able to churn out thoughts and emotions 24-7, nonstop. Some of those thoughts and emotions and scripts and mental images are helpful, but the overwhelming majority really are not. So now with cognitive diffusion, you're able to look at the unhelpful mental processes that your mind just churns out nonstop and to be able to separate yourself from them. Remember, not all of your thoughts, personal scripts, mental images, and emotions are equally helpful uh, in, in you taking action to meet your values-based goals and to live a purposeful life. Uh, many of the thoughts, scripts, images, and emotions that you have are not helpful, so they shouldn't have equal weight. And if you can understand that and not give them the same weight as the more helpful thoughts and mental processes, then it's okay to dismiss them. And you can say, these things are merely not helping me reach my values-based goals. In this way, your thoughts and your mental processes don't control your actions and the steps you take to live a purposeful life. In this month's Conquering Your Stress newsletter, uh, I'll teach you a real simple technique called the whiteboard, which helps you diffuse from your unhelpful thoughts, personal scripts, mental images, and emotions uh, that are related to stress and that are keeping you stuck. I look forward to working with you again next month.